yo what's going on you guys and welcome back to another video here on my channel now in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to get black joggers in gta 5 online after the latest patch of 1.50 also known as the casino heist dlc and this is not going to require an moc because there is a method that does require the moc but that's why i'm making this video because this method that i'm about to show you guys does not require an moc but the only downside to this glitch is that it's going to be deleting all of our outfits so if you guys have any modded outfits then i really don't recommend that you do this but if you don't mind losing um your outfits then this is definitely going to be worth it you can save one outfit but you got to make sure that you're wearing that outfit before you do the glitch so i'm going to be wearing this outfit right here um i can get it back so i don't really care if i lose it but pretty much just make sure that you're wearing an outfit that you want to keep if you are going to be doing this glitch and from here all you're going to do is bring up your map head over to online and swap character so once you guys get over to the swap character screen you want to make sure that your male character is on the left side so pretty much you so make sure that he's in the first slot and also make sure it's a male character because this is going to be for the male character and from there all you have to do is swap over to the second slot and make a brand new female character in slot two so just go ahead and make sure it's a female and hit save and continue and you can name it whatever now from here take a picture and once you take the picture it should put us into a public session all right so whenever you guys load into the public session on the female character you just made all you want to do is bring up your map and see if you have the clothing stores as you can see i do not have the clothing stores um if this happens to you all you want to do is find a new session but if you do get the clothing stores on the first try then just go ahead and make your way over to any one of those clothing stores whenever you guys get over to the clothing store all you want to do is make your way over to the pants and go over to the sports pants and you want to buy the first ones that you see which are going to be the spotted muscle pants now from here, go ahead and make your way over to the tops, go down to the party tank tops and buy the first one that you see, which is going to be the leopard loose tank. Now from here, just go ahead and make your way over to the shoes and I'm going to be leaving components in the description for uh, which shoes you get on the male character. So basically, I'm just going to be leaving some components for some shoes down in the description. But if you want um, just ordinary black sneakers, you have to go over to the running shoes and you want to go to number 28 and look for these right here. The cal i'm not sure how you say those but it's number 28 under running shoes so go ahead and equip those now from here uh if you're wearing any accessories go ahead and take them off and then once you have cleared all your accessories just go ahead and make your way over to the accessories then when you get to accessories go to gloves and by the light woodland tactical gloves and this is what the outfit should look like now you want to go ahead and save it in slot one all right, so after you save this outfit, this is the only outfit that we're going to have to make. From here, all you're going to do is open your interaction menu and make sure your spawn location is set to last location. And from here, just go ahead and take the easy way out. Whenever you guys respawn, just go ahead and make your way into creator. Once you're in creator, just go over to create a race, then create a land race. And after you do that, just go ahead and set a waypoint over to the airport. And whenever you get to the airport, go over to the race details, then go to title and enter in a random title. Now from here, go into description and enter in a random description. And then after you put in the description, just go over to photo and you could take a picture of anything. Now go ahead and back out of there and make sure that you put the route type on point to point. And then from here, back out, then go over to placement, place trigger. And you want to place a trigger right down here where I place it so uh right around here just somewhere around here it doesn't have to be exactly where i place it just somewhere around here at the edge of this little gate all right now from here just go over to lobby camera and take a picture of anything and then whenever you get into checkpoints all you want to do is place a checkpoint right where you place the trigger and then from here just go all the way to the other end of the landing strip and just place like one to two checkpoints over there so you want to look in the bottom right and make sure that your race length is at least 0.70 mi So as you can see, I just placed my last checkpoint and now from here, you can back out and save the race. Now, once you saved it, just go ahead and test the race. So when you're done testing the race, you just want to go ahead and accept this little alert. And as soon as you accept the alert, go ahead and swap characters. 
So whenever you guys get over to the swap character screen, all you want to do is go over to the female character that we made all the outfits on and you want to go ahead and delete this character. So it's just going to ask you to type in delete. So go ahead and do so. And then it should put us back on the um, swap character screen and you should see the female character is no longer there. Now from here, just go ahead and press circle or B to make your way into story mode. Once you're in story mode, just go ahead and bring up your pause menu and make your way into an invite only or a public session. When you guys get into GTA Online, all you want to do is go ahead and save the outfit that you're wearing. Because in the beginning, I did say you can save one outfit that you're wearing before you start the glitch. But if you don't care about the outfit, then you don't have to save it. But I am going to go ahead and save mine down here. Alright, now once you saved your outfit, you should see that the joggers outfit did transfer over and you cannot equip it. That's because we have to merge the joggers onto the actual outfit. So all you're going to do is head over to a clothing store. I already own this item, so I don't have to head to a clothing store. But what you're going to do is you're going to go over to the pants and go to the team pants. Or sorry, go to the utility pants and buy the black heist pants. All right, so this is the outfit that I came up with. It's just something random that I threw, threw together. But uh, once you do have your outfit, all you're going to do is head over to um, online jobs, play jobs, Rockstar Created versus, and then head into Cricket Cop. So whenever you guys get into Cricket Cop, make sure that the clothing is set to player owned. Um, if you are hosting it, you can change it. But if you do join somebody, make sure that they have the clothing set to player owned. So whenever you guys get on this screen, go one time to the right and nothing will change. But uh, once we get into the job, I'll show you guys that we actually do have the joggers. As you can see, the guy next to me, he's actually doing the same glitch too. He has the black joggers. So as you guys can see, I loaded into the job and I have the um, I have the joggers and they do have invisible ankles. But from here, it's in order to save the outfit, all you have to do is open your interaction menu and equip to a breather or an earpiece. Now from here, just go ahead and bring up your phone and quit the job through your phone. So whenever you get out of Crooked Cop, you should still be wearing the outfit. And as you can see, I do still have the outfit. There's one thing I want to mention about this outfit. Uh, these are the wrong shoes. Um, I was expecting just some black high top sneakers, but these are like white and they have like designs on them and stuff. I'm sorry about that if you guys did equip the same shoes as I did, but you could just redo the glitch and get some different ones. Again, like I said, I'll leave the components linked down below in the description. Now from here, you can go ahead and save the outfit. And I'm pretty sure that you can change the top and the accessories and stuff. You just cannot change the pants, obviously, because then you won't have black joggers. And also, you cannot change the shoes. That's the only thing about this glitch is that the shoes that you pick are the shoes that you get. You can't change them. But yeah, I'm going to just go ahead and override it. And if I go to my saved outfits, I can equip it and I have the black joggers. I'll just quickly change my outfit to show you guys. You can see I do still have it. Now that is going to do for today's video, you guys. I really hope that you guys did enjoy. And if you did enjoy, make sure that you drop a like and you also subscribe with post notifications on if you're new to my YouTube channel because I am going to be uh, posting more clothing glitches just like this right here. But yeah, that's going to do for today's video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see y'all in the next one.